Welcome back to the Northwestern Help Desk. I'm your host, Adam Brownwell, and today we're recording in the SWAT office. Because, phone. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can import Sketchfabs into your OneNotes. If you don't know what Sketchfab is, Sketchfab is a website where you can upload your models. This is usually used for gaming, but there's a lot of cool things that you can see here that I think could be used for teaching classes. Like, here's a human respiratory system. I think this is perfect for anatomy. If you were to upload an urn or maybe some architecture, you can use that for art class. So if you're making an art OneNote, you can start a new page and put in architecture and how much other cool models that you want your students to build, and then they can see these 3D models and know what they look like. So here's Sketchfab 3D. This is what it looks like after you click the play button. You're allowed to drag the model around. You can look at it and follow different angles. This one even has numbers. Most of them don't even have things labeled like this, but you can click this, and then hey, there you go, nasal cavity. So this would be a perfect one for anatomy, because then you could be like, you know, this is the nasal cavity, and this is what it looks like. But there's also a bunch of other cool models, and I'll show you how you can import those cool models into your OneNotes. So the first thing you're going to do is come over here to sketchfab.com and just go into your web browser, sketchfab.com, and enter. And that'll take you to the Sketchfab page. Once you get on the Sketchfab page, you're going to come over here to this Explore tab, and you're going to go down to Science, Nature, and Education. Or you can go to Architecture, or if you're in Art, I would suggest Cultural Heritage. There's a lot of cool art things in there. Or, alternatively, again, you can just search for whatever it is you're looking for. So if you wanted a dinosaur, you can just be like, I can't even spell dinosaur. You can type in dinosaur and hit enter. And then after some searching, which it will do, and I will skip, you'll see that it's going to bring up a whole bunch of dinosaurs. And here you can see is the pterodactyl, or more specifically this thing that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. And that's a staff pick, and it, that's probably because it has an animation. A lot of them don't have animations, but the ones that do are really cool. And you can change that here. I'm just going to change the static pose. And that's the way I'd leave it on, because students would probably get really confused if it was animated. But here, now if you wanted to teach about dinosaurs, here's a cool dinosaur model you can look at. And although it's not necessary, you can also put it in a wireframe. So if you were to go to rendering and go to wireframe, you can change it to like blue. I use, we use blue wireframes. And then when you go to the model, you got a blue wireframe. Why you'd want to use this in a classroom, I have no clue, but perhaps you're in a modeling classroom and you want to show them all the faces and vertices that were used to make this model. But what's most important is how to link these in your OneNote. So what you'd expect to do is you'd go down to share and you'd copy that link, but no. All you need to do is copy the link at the top, make a new page in OneNote, title it pterodactyl, a pterodactyl, and then enter. Put the link in, hit enter, and you wait a second, and your model will load in. Simple as that, now it's embedded into your lesson plan, and now you can show models and play around with them. They're just super simple to use. You just click load, let it load, and then you just drag the hand around and look at the model. And right click to drag back and forth. Alright, well perhaps typing in dinosaur was a little bit too specific, even though it recommends typing in dinosaur itself, but I didn't find anything. But if you type in something a bit more specific, like pterodactyl, not pterodactyl like last time, you'll find something. I found this that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. It kind of reminds me of the tap a jar from ARC. But what's the most important is that this is a model that you can put into your OneNotes. Why you'd want to use a pterodactyl, I don't know. Maybe you want to show your students how to model a dinosaur. Either way, when you find a sketch tab that you like, you can come up to the top here, to this link, and control C or copy it. And then when you put this in your OneNotes and paste it, it will load in there. As you can see, I have it here, but if I was to erase this, Get rid of it, backspace, and get rid of all this. Control V and hit enter. Our Sketchfab model will load. And now we have a Sketchfab model that we like in our OneNote. So this has been my tutorial on how you can put your Sketchfabs into your OneNotes. It's pretty simple. The main reason I did this tutorial was to show you guys mainly Sketchfab because it's a really cool resource. Even if you're not using it for gaming, if you were to use it for teaching, it's a really cool resource. 